Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tips. Let's talk about playing games in the dark. No, wait, that's not what I meant. Shadow play, yes. Shadow play. Nvidia has decided to put to work probably the least used bit of hardware on their graphics cards, the H.264 hardware encoder in Kepler GPUs. While you could use Fraps or any other video capture software, this is your fastest ticket to higher FPS while recording as the video card is doing all the heavy lifting. This is fantastic news for casters, commentators, and let's play YouTubers. Basically, it's a hardware accelerate always on video recorder that makes recording your game highlights that much easier. More on this in a moment. So first of all, there are a few requirements. This is a Kepler GPU only affair. That means GTX 600s or higher. You also need four gigs of RAM, a Core i3 or AMD X4 processor. Once you've got all that lined up, you're good to go for recording. So let's run through the interface real quick. There's a mode button that allows for the selection of shadow, manual, or both. This is that always on feature I was talking about earlier. The shadow mode essentially records all of the footage for however long you like. And when you've scored that awesome goal or kicked that boss's butt or did something super amazing in Battlefield, press Alt F10 and your last few minutes of gameplay were saved. It's like having instant replay all the time. You can select between having one all the way up to 20 minutes of gameplay. The manual mode works as you might think. Basically press the record, press the stop. It basically keeps going until you run out of footage or run out of storage space. Also on the topic of storage, you're going to need some beefy, beefy storage, but casters are already aware of this problem. To get high quality video, you need 370 megs of storage per minute. And on medium low, we'll use about 165 megs to 113 megs respectively. Don't forget, these videos are 1080p at 60 frames per second. The final audio toggle allows you to turn it on or off if you so desire to record video only or if you want video and sound. There are also options of displaying the recording indicator, selecting what folder you store your videos in, and custom keyboard shortcuts, but honestly, that's pretty much it. So let's run through it real quick right on camera here. So for mode, we're running both shadow and manual. The shadow time is 20 minutes, so that's gonna take about 7.5 gigs of storage. Quality obviously is on high because we wanna show you all the nice details. In audio, we're using the in-game audio. So we have Alt F9 that toggles the manual recording mode, so let's get started. All right, so now we resumed Batman, and now we press Alt F9. You can see the little green indicator has popped up, letting us know that it is recording. So let's resume gameplay. Ah, the controller's off. No! I'm getting my butt kicked. No! Oh, no. So, it's as simple as that. Now for my thoughts. I really like this, and I think that there's a ton of potential. NVIDIA has announced that there will be direct Twitch streaming built into future releases, so keep an eye on that. As this is a beta, there may be some hiccups for some users, but I think it's a pretty polished product already, and best of all, free for anybody with 700 or 600 series graphics cards. Hope you guys like this quick overview of Shadowplay. Like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and comment down below and tell me if you really enjoyed using Shadowplay or if you rather, you know, still use Fraps whatever software you have on your computer. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Good job, Jack.